What's going on? My name's Jay, and today I'm going to show you how to use adjustment clips in DaVinci Resolve 16. Let's take a look. So when I first moved to DaVinci Resolve 15 from Premiere Pro, the first thing that I noticed, the first thing that I missed was the adjustment layers. And for those of you who have never used Premiere Pro, adjustment layers were basically blank video clips. You put them on top of your original footage, you could do all your editing on those adjustment layers and that way you were doing non-destructive editing. You never once had to touch your original video clip. This meant that I could do all of my editing in the adjustment layers and if I didn't like the edit, I could just get rid of it and start over without having to mess with the original video clip and it was great and it was a big part of my workflow. With DaVinci Resolve 15, I didn't have that. You kind of had that in the color grading with the node system, but other than that, you really just had to work with the original footage. And one of the things that I was really excited about when DaVinci Resolve 16 came out was the addition of adjustment clips, which are the same exact thing as adjustment layers. So once again, I have a way to do non-destructive editing where I don't have to touch my original footage. It's totally, totally gonna change the game in DaVinci Resolve. Let's dive in and I'll show you how to use adjustment clips. Okay, so we're here in DaVinci Resolve 16. We're in the edit page. And the first thing that I wanna do is color correct this footage. It's just some stock footage of people having fun at a carnival. We're gonna use adjustment clips to do that. So we're gonna go over to our effects library. We're gonna go down to effects. And we're gonna drag an adjustment clip into a video track above our footage. Go ahead and drag that adjustment clip all the way across our footage. Now, if this was a video that was shot with this same camera in the same location throughout the entire video, we could just use that single adjustment clip to color correct all our footage at once. But since we've got some different lighting scenarios going on, we actually want to correct each clip individually. So what we're gonna do is select our adjustment clip, bring our playhead in between our first two clips, and cut the adjustment clip. Just go on down the line. And we'll head over to our color page. And you'll see here that we've got an H.264 clip, we've got an adjustment clip, H.264, adjustment, and so on and so forth, all the way down the line. And we're gonna be color correcting, like I said, using only adjustment clips. So we're gonna go ahead and select our first adjustment clip and get to work. And if you're wondering about my process for color correcting footage, I've got a video coming out about that really soon. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss it. All right, now that we've got our footage corrected, let's go ahead and go back to the edit page. It's time to put a grade on our footage. Let's go ahead and grab another adjustment clip and drag it onto a new track above all of our other clips. And we're gonna go ahead and drag that out across all of our footage. Go ahead back over to the color page. And since we've already corrected all our footage individually, we can use this one single adjustment clip to do all of our grading. And for this, I'm just gonna do a very simple teal and orange color grade. I'm gonna do it in curves because I just feel like I get a more accurate result. Go ahead and make sure that our RGB curves are unlinked. We're gonna click red. Bring some red out of the shadows and into the highlights. Click blue, gonna put some blue into the shadows. Bring them out of our highlights. Let's go ahead and add a new node. We'll tweak the contrast a bit. Desaturate our blacks. Come back and adjust the contrast just a little bit by bringing up those shadows. Let's go ahead and add a vignette. And now if we play this back, you'll see we've got a really nice grade on our footage. Now color grading isn't the only thing that you can do with adjustment clips. You can also use it for effects, transitions, and all sorts of stuff. Basically, anything that you can do with your original footage, you can also do with adjustment clips with one exception. If you want to use DaVinci Resolve's auto color function, you do have to do that on the original clip. That will not work 
with adjustment clips. Not 100% sure why, but it just, it doesn't work. It just turns the entire clip white. But other than that, there are endless possibilities with adjustment clips. They've become, once again, an integral part of my workflow. And if you wanna learn more about my workflow and how I edit videos, I've got a playlist link right there that you should definitely check out. And right down here, there's a video that YouTube thinks you should watch. And if you wanna learn more about video editing, camera gear, and how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for hanging out today. I'll talk to you later.